session in training mugs java coding challenges series in today's session we'll discuss about a very important question asked in many freshers interview that is checking the given number whether it is a prime number or not so first let us understand the logic so what is a prime number a number which is divisible by one and the number itself is called as a prime number example we'll take seven seven is a prime number so how you're going to say it is a prime number so we'll take first the seven is divisible by one or not how do you say a number is divisible by another number is the remainder must be zero now when you say seven remainder one that is zero so it is divisible by one then we'll take seven remainder two that is not divisible by two so the remainder is not zero then seven remainder three is not divisible so the remainder is not zero so similarly with four it is not divisible so the remainder so similarly with four it is not divisible so the remainder is not zero same with remainder five it's not zero then remainder with six it's not zero and finally seven remainder seven is going to be zero so if you look at this the seven is divisible by one and then itself so it is not divisible any number in between then we can say seven is a prime number so let us take an another example that is nine so is nine a prime number no nine is not a prime number let us look at how so first we divide it by one the remainder is zero then we divide it with two the remainder is not zero then we divide it with three but the remainder is zero because we know nine is divisible by three so if this is divisible by three then we cannot say it is a prime number so this logic can be applicable for any number that you want to check whether it is a prime number or not let's look at the code now so first we'll take that number example here we are taking the number to be 13 and if the uh, interview in interview if they ask you to take this number by using the input so then you have to write the scanner statement to take this number as an input but here time being we have taken the number value to be 13 then we require one more variable so that to increment from 1 to the number so we know that any number which is divisible by 1 and then divisible by itself but what is the actual logic we need to write is we need to check whether it is divisible by any in between numbers that is 2 to the number minus 1 so in this case we need to take a variable so that starts from 2 then we need to increment this till the number minus 1 so here that's the reason we're taking this variable so what we need to do is every time we need to check the given number that is 13 whether it is divisible by i or not but every time we need to increment the i till it reaches to the number minus 1 that is 13 minus 1 that is 12 so how are you going to like the logic for it so we can use any uh, iterative statement so here i have taken an example of while so while i less than number so by default it is, it is going to be i less than or equal to number minus 1 then every time we need to increment i that is i plus plus so before incrementing first we need to check the condition if the number remainder i equals to 0 or whether the number is divisible by 2 or not if it is divisible then immediately we can say the given number is not a prime and then we don't need to check with other numbers so that's the reason we can break this operation or execution here itself by writing the statement called break so here if the number remainder 2 is equals to 0 then immediately we can say the given number is not a prime number otherwise this i plus plus will keep on executing if the number is not remainder with any other number so finally we can check if the i will become the number that is if i double equals to number then we can say the given number is prime number so this is a logic to check any given number whether it is a prime number or not so first we'll try to write it and then we also see like how you can improve this logic based on time complexity and as well as so let me open my eclipse i already opened my eclipse so here i'm going to take a new java class to write the code to check whether the given number is a prime number or not so here i'm taking a class so i'm giving the number uh the class name as prime number or not i'm taking my main method so within this main method so first let me take the number as integer number is equals to 13 but if the interviewer asks you to take this number as an input so instead of giving that number by default so then you need to take the help of scanner class so you need to initialize the scanner to new scanner by passing 
your keyboard as a parameter that the system dot in then you need to import then here I'm writing a system dot out dot println statement saying that enter a number so then this number I'm just taking as an input by using the scanner class next int method so now they're using the scanner class next int method so now the user enters a number now here I need to check whether the user entered number is a prime number or not so how do we do that as, as per our logic we'll take in a variable that we initialize it to 2 and then we know that this value should be incremented till the number minus 1 so here I'm using a file while loop to demonstrate I less than equal to number or I less than or equal to number minus 1 you can use both then we can check if the number is divisible by I that is nothing but the remainder with I is equal to 0 then immediately I can say that the given number the given number so to concatenate the number I use the variable concatenation by using two plus symbols then the given number is not a prime number so now if this is not number simply I can break I don't need to continue my logic if this is not divisible by 0 then I need to increment my variable so every time the variable value is incremented and then every time this if condition is checked whether the number is reminder with the i value is 0 or not if it is 0 then immediately it's immediately it says that the given number is not prime then immediately it is going to break so this loop will continue if the number is not divisible by any number in between then the i value will be definitely becomes to number so here we can say that if i value becomes a number value then we can say that system dot out dot println then the given number so we use plus number to concatenate saying that is a prime number so that's it so let me write my program so when you run your program then here it first ask you to enter the number here example I'm taking 13 as a number then it says that the given number that is a prime number so let me run by giving an another number so let me take it as 15 then it says that 15 is not a prime number so let me take 21 then it says that 21 is not a prime number let me take an another number 3 then it says that 23 is a prime number so this is what a simple logic but in this logic we can uh, reduce the number of iterations to 50 percent by changing this while condition so instead of taking it till number then we can check it with number divided by 2 till equals so here using this i less than or equal to number divided by 2 we can reduce the number of iterations to 2 then the logic is going to be same if the number reminder i is equal to 0 then we say that given number is not a prime number otherwise it will increment so in this case it does not increment till the value of i will become to number but it will increment till it becomes number divided by 2 plus 1 so that's the reason we put this whole number divided by 2 plus 1 in an expression saying that when the i value will become number divided by 2 plus 1 then we can say the given number is prime so the logic is going to be same but here we are reducing the number of iteration of iterations to 50 percent which increases the performance so let me run so when i run it so then again it is asking to enter a number let me take 13 13 is a prime number then when i run it with an another number example 15 then it says that given 15 is not a prime number so let me enter it as 17 17 is a prime number let me enter it with a 21 21 is not a prime number so this is what the simple logic is all about so in the second uh, logic so we have reduced the number of iterations to 50 percent which increases the performance so in any interview if you are coming across this program so try to write this logic so that which gives an impression that you are reducing the number of iterations to 50 percent which definitely increase the performance